Good morning, everyone. Hope everyone's doing well. Um, quite an explosive morning again, which is pretty good. But this time to the upside. Yesterday we had a risk off sentiment. This morning we seem to be having a risk on sentiment. Um, I believe there's some um, potential news coming out saying that the Russian troops might be returning back to base. Um, potentially the avoidance of um, um, conflict between Ukraine, Russia, the USA and so on and so forth. So um, that potentially means that the markets might be going back to normal. And um, yeah, we, we might be going back to, into a risk on sentiment, which would um, clearly um, help push in risk on assets such as the Euro, Pound, Aussie, Kiwi, CAD, uh, the S&P 500. And as we've seen this morning from the German 30 as well, um, real, real strong moves from um, the DAX, um, I believe posted in the group already by Cameron. So have a look. Uh, that'll be that'll be pretty good. But um, I wanted to cover a couple of markets of interest because of this. Um, one that we some that we covered yesterday a little bit, but I, I wanted to delve into a little bit more um, detail today. So I wanted to start with Euro. As you can see, guys, I made a little video on Euro yesterday saying we came back to an area of interest, uh, a level where we were before sellers attempted to bring the price down and then buyers having a fight and breaking to the upside. So a nice impulse move followed by what this I would classify as an absolute textbook retracement. Why? Nice and slow, taking its time, showing sellers they don't really have control of this market. Yes, there could have been a move further down to this side, as you can see. Um, but really and truly, I want to trade with the strength, which is to the upside, I believe. You normally see a quick dump move back into buying areas or selling areas. And obviously, for this context, into buying areas. And what's the things that we don't do? We don't buy into selling areas and we don't sell into buying areas. So clearly we were able to see that we created a nice, lovely formation on the four hourly. Um, and this is the type of retest I want to see. So this is once again a textbook retest of the sort of candlestick formations I want to see. We can clearly see we created, um, I'll probably call it an inverted hammer. Once again, it's a warning sign followed by a test bar, another test bar. And then we started to see buyers coming in. Now, this would have been a little bit difficult to trade. I completely understand. So potentially, I would have potentially taken a position here, frankly. Potentially being stopped out. But I would have taken another position again. It gave me another test bar. It showed me that buyers want to be in this market. So guys, don't be put off by the fact that you're potentially suffering a loss initially. But you're still getting another signal. Take the trade, guys. Take the trade. For anyone that was able to potentially see this on the one hourly, this was the potential signal that you could have traded. Once again, test bar followed by an inverted hammer and then a bullish candle. Guys, once again, classify this as a lovely one, two, three. What are you seeing? Sellers trying to push the market down, followed by an inverted hammer, telling you that sellers can no longer take this market any lower. We've, we've not even challenged the lows then buyers taking control of this market. Frankly, we could have put a stop loss here for anyone a little bit more conservative. Stop loss below the wick entry. You've been well, um, quite a, a little bit of profit right now. So what do we do now? What do we do now? Well, clearly we're kind of approaching a one hourly level. So for me, guys, back to basics. What's the basics? I want to break. I want to retest. Come back into this area. See if we can get another buying opportunity to take this to the upside, potentially up to this level um, if you're looking to trade it on the one hourly, guys. So there is quite a lot happening. Then I wanted to cover the S&P 500. Um, covered in the advanced group that the S&P, it's going to be seasonally bullish from the middle of February, which is great. Once again, we came back to an area where buyers... I've taken control of the market. Clearly, we created a base here. We broke above. We stayed above. Came back into this area and we see buyers trying to defend price and we've broken above again, guys. So once again, just figure out the clues. Try and understand what the market is trying to tell you. Don't be in a rush to 
buying and selling just trying to understand the bigger picture because most times out of 10 if you get the bigger picture right it will go your way so now we've broken above this level great fantastic clearly we can tell on the one hourly that price was halting here for a little while broke above created a base again sellers completely running out of steam and now we've broken above so indices are bullish again fantastic good stuff i would like to see maybe a little retracement uh before the us open and then see another burst of strength to the upside that we can now uh, take advantage of so that will be also um an opportunity to look out for which will be good um then we are going to look at oil once again still messing me about oil still messing me about not really interested again we might create we might have created a um hanging man who knows we don't know i'm only going to be interested until we break below the low for daily actual reversal moves now if i was in a position to take this short within the four hourly or so once again guys i want to be below the last buyer where is the last buyer here on a break below that we might be creating a extended double uh top let's break below get a retest and see if we can move to the downside but till then guys i'm gonna be staying put i'm not gonna be putting my money at risk so as of now guys i'm looking i'm going through a couple of the other pairs uh on the 15 minute time frame and i'm seeing euro yen pound yen aussie yen kiwi yen cad yen um really gaining strength guys this is showing this is showing that we might have a risk on sentiment coming back into the market use these as clues you know um i was having a coaching session with a student yesterday and they were like oh how can we keep on top um of what's going on with um the news and relating it back to the market and i will say most times that i attend the market will let you know before the news actually gets released now a way that i use um the market to let me know whether we're risk on or risk off which obviously we've been teaching you guys for quite a while i tend to look at the yen pairs a lot i tend to look at the s p the dow jones and try and figure out who's gaining strength what's going on who's who's be, who's getting in power and then i tend to use the euro pound aussie kiwi and cat to also gauge um if these um risk on assets are also gaining strength against the yen and so on and so forth guys try and couple up your instruments to try and figure out what the market is trying to tell you guys okay that's it for now i will be back with more videos through the day um i'm sure that we're gonna have a pretty good um u.s session keep an eye out through the london session guys there might be continuation moves try and use the core strategy to get in and out get in a couple of pips smash and grab type of style and then we'll go from there Take care, guys. Have a good one. We will speak later. Bye-bye.